my dudes, my guys, my freaking boys, we are going to Han today. Let's get it. It's about to be a long weekend. All right, we made it in. It took us two and a half hours to get in here, but we're here, so that's good. That now we're just kind of walking around, <laughs> seeing what all's so, out here. Today's kind of a slower day, so you might be wondering. just hang so out and see what we can get, get ourselves into. This is kind of cool. Uh, Duncan Imports here is where I bought my beat from, and they actually brought a beat, and it's the version F, so it's like the super rare color and stuff. All right, let's see if we can go find some race car friends now. I got a handful of them here, so just walk around until we find somebody right here with this CRX. It's like the fastest all-motor CRX out right now. K-Series all-motor ripper. He builds transmissions. Got Farrell's car right here. All-wheel drive EK Coupe. Really nice car. A whole bunch of carbon and whatnot. This fast guy is Coupe. B-Series sport front setup. These cars, they got crazy tube work going on. Just walking through the pits, and this thing looks nah. Oh, I follow him on TikTok. I forget his name though. Yeah, it's an actual like JDM front CRX. He built all this, a bunch of the carbon stuff by himself. This is the one I follow him on TikTok. So again, your protesting shakedown has been changed to a qualifier. We're going to start it at. This guy right here is a EP3, I mean the RSX front, and it's a, the four-door one of these. But he said it's got the yell rear end, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty wild. He said he drove it 12 hours from Canada. Drove this here, finished it up two days ago. That's wild. That's so nuts. This is Mel's car right here. He comes out drifting with us every now and then. He's got a bunch of cool I don't know where he's at right now, but uh, this is his car. K24 Hyundai Sonata. You can see the pipe sticking out the hood and stuff. Made 480, so it's a ripper. We'll, we'll get to talk to him at some point. I don't know where he's at right now. He's probably out walking around or something. Nobody's racing because the rain keeps on being like on and off, so. This thing's really clean. Looks like an all-motor K car. R6. It's all cut up, painted on the inside. Carbon door covers. Dude, this thing's really nice. Thank you. Got a Y49 CRX. It's a rare color. Thing's sick. Just walked down literally as far as you can get to see Joey. And this man is not here. I seen him pull up. I guess he wasn't driving. Maybe he's still working. Maybe he's coming tomorrow, but. Come on, Joey. Made, made my fat self walk all the way down here for no reason. What the heck? He's a clean CRX, though. Super clean CRX. Super nice. I don't think you guys realize how many freaking cars are here. It's actually kind of nuts that they're parking cars down like this far. Normally, they don't make it down this far. Normally, they're like all the way out there, so. Them being all the way back here is kind of nuts. There's got to be a ton of cars here. I'd love to see the car count number on this. Maybe they'll come out with it. But it's all kinds of stuff out here. So you guys will notice that like a lot of these cars have like a ton of sponsors on them. A lot of them are just like a tax write-off, which is kind of cool. So it's like a restaurant. It's pretty nice. It's really clean for EF too. Really nice. It's pretty neat. Oh, it's a Sparks racing car. They do a bunch of these ninth gens. This is a four-door ninth gen. Pretty rowdy. You don't see a lot of ninth and eighth gens racing. So, it's got a really nice cage in it too. All TIG welded, it's just chromoly. It's nice. So I was just over there talking with those guys. They're called the K-Swap Shop. They're from Canada. And uh, some cool dudes. We were just over there like, just shooting the stuff back and forth for like, probably 30, 45 minutes. Pretty cool dudes. So we'll catch up with them later. This is a really nice one too. All carbon, carbon seat, carbon dash. It's got the fuel tech buttons. It's all a motor car too, nice. It's kind of nutty, CRX, J series in it. It's pretty cool. Look 
Look, I know this is a Honda Day video and y'all can judge me all you want, but God. God. What a unit. It has goals. Yeah, I definitely need some 24s for my truck. I'm gonna walk around the car show and see if we can find anything neat or interesting. Like I said, today is not really a big day. Today is pretty small, but uh, I'm not gonna pull my buddy out, but we were walking around one day, or we were walking around earlier and basically came to the conclusion that the race cars are more show car than the show cars. <laughs> so, but we're gonna go ahead and walk around now, see if we can find anything cool in here. This thing looks like a very clean stock EK coupe. It's got a steering wheel and stuff in it. It might be lowered a little bit, but it's really clean. Like really, really clean. That's kind of crazy. Here's an Integra with a JDM front on it. Four door. Pretty clean. I like. I really like the black back housing headlights. And they did the five lug swap. It's really nice. I miss my Integra, man. No freaking shot, it's a Honda Beat. What, that's crazy? No shot? <laughs> Forget what these things are called, but pretty nifty. Pretty cool. Really clean, too. You know a guy that has one of these. I just cannot, for the life of me, remember what they're called. It's pretty cool. It's got like marker lights in the wing, too. Yeah, these little marker lights right there. It's neat. Here's this clean Del Sol, the, the the top. What up? What up? So a lot of time with these Honda things, you don't see very many like super nice wheels. So kind of crazy to see some works. I don't know what these are. They're VSs, I would assume, because it says VS, but they're actual like three-piece wheels or two-piece or something. So that's cool. VSXXs or whatever they are, pretty neat. I really want these Kanzai tandems on the uh, for the Z so bad. But they look killer on this 10th Gen Accord. Actual EM1 or not, but it's K swapped. I would definitely drive an EM1 for sure. One day I'll have one. All the carbon Kevlar. That looks pretty good. Cool. Pretty cool in the teal. Oh, he's, dang, got the Graham lights. The 57s. The DD Kevlar wheel. That's cool. Kevlar wing. Kevlar trunk. <laughs> bought all the Kevlar stuff. This thing's pretty tight. Those are real Rega Masters, so that's cool. Has got the SIR front bumper, Kevlar hood with the yellow Recaros. This thing is actually nice. Oh, it's right-hand drive too. I didn't even notice that. That's cool. That's really cool. Is it an actual ITR? We get to play this game all weekend. I feel like it is. Yeah, it's got the right stuff. It's gotta be. Hybrid shifter, spoon wheel, spoon shift knob. Not the spoon rear view, that's kind of crazy. Spoon rear views are really easy to get. They got the spoon calipers, spoon wheels, spoon lugs. Dang, that's kind of crazy actually. Yo, know, low key, this is probably like one of the nicest cars here. Got the two TSX wagons. I've always thought these things are really cool. This is an interesting color scheme. He's got like his engine bay painted that neon yellow, neon yellow wheel, neon yellow. Uh, um, harnesses and stuff. That's neat. Hey, shout out Honda Pro Jason. <laughs> shout out my boy. It's kind of crazy, dude. A TL on tandems, dude. Like, I don't think I'd ever see tandems on like Honda stuff before. It's kind of wild because we use them a bunch for the drift car stuff, but we never use them for the um, for like Honda stuff. So that's kind of weird. Maybe it's because they're cheaper. Got the DR57s. Oh, it's an actual right-hand drive? Oh, this might actually be a EK9. Yeah, it's got a B16B, LSD diff. Yeah, dude. Oh, it is. It actually is an EK9. This is right on the right on the vent. Damn. That's crazy. It's actual wild. Not the VSKFs, dude. What? Not the VSKFs, dude. Sheesh with the carbon fenders. It's kind of nuts. This thing's pretty neat. All the accent stuff's like neonish. Those are the Prismas. Those are really cool seats. Or comfortable. 
this thing's pretty rowdy. It's a J series. So you can see it's got the header right there and the header back there. Pretty rowdy. All right, they're still racing, but a handful of us are about to go get food, so I'm about to roll out of here. So I guess this is where I'm gonna end the clip of day one. Also, I think it's my favorite car here. But this is day one. Day two coming soon. All right, y'all, day two. We are in the element now, and we are in a group of, I don't know, a lot of elements. And we're here, it is six o'clock in the morning. Happy to be here. <laughs> I'm so tired. Rick, Rick's in the car, the boy Rick, <laughs> and then CJ and Jess are behind us in the beat. So, let's see if we can get in here. All right, we made it in. We got parked. We have a ton of. I don't know what the actual count is. I think it's like 13 or 14. But we're gonna go ahead and get set up right now. They parked us back here. I think all this is gonna end up being show cars later in the day. But got a pretty cool stack of elements here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the tent out. All right, we're all set up. And this is this is who we're here with. <clears throat> So there's a bunch of different elements here. It's kind of wild. Those headlights are sick. I like those ones. Got the SC front end right there. Kind of tight. And this one's lifted. I got a lift for mine at the house. I just haven't done it. I don't know if I want to do it, but they do look good. That's a fact. So that's it. Now we're, just, we're still waiting for CJ to get in. So at some point, CJ will get in and then we can meet up with him. He's driving the beat and then figure out where the beat's parked. And I got to clean the beat and all that stuff. So. so the drama begins. We're walking. I can see CJ. He's all the way down there. I can see it under the car. And uh, all the other cars are going over there, so not sure why their CJ's over here. But I guess I'm about to find out. CJ accidentally got thrown in the not judge car show, and it's supposed to be in the judge car show, so I need to be over there, and they're kind of not letting me, so we gotta figure out what all we have to do. This is gonna be a struggle, to say the least. All right, now we just play line simulator because I think that lane has to go and then those two lanes have to go and then we're going, so. We're about to be here forever. They basically made us loop back around and then like come back into this lane. So, uh, not ideal. And <laughs> I want to start the morning playing more line simulator. All right, looks like they have a full like type R section right here. Like all the way through here and all the way back there, I think. Oh, maybe it's not. Just kidding. I thought it was, but then I seen this. Really clean. This thing right here. Oh, it's a Lexus bill. I do a bunch of work for them. That's crazy. Got the spoon, spoon rotors with the T37s, or spoon uh, spoon calipers with the T37s. Got the CTR wheel, the CTR um, uh, cluster. Miracle X bar, CTR wing, the JDM fog in it. It's clean. So this JDM front integrity right here is like mad clean. Got the posh Mugen wheels, Mugen seat, it's carbon Kevlar stuff, a bunch of carbon Kevlar stuff, Mugen wheel. Yo, it's got Mugen seats and a Mugen wheel. Miracle brace. I think this is my buddy's Justin car. He just imported it. If it's his, let's see. Oh, yep. Brother, this is a funny looking no prep car. <laughs> this is Brandon's car, the boy. <laughs> this is his car right here. Y'all seen this uh, when we went to, Ocean, or not Ocean City, the Outer Banks. Right hand drive, VK. All the goodies. Lots of titanium bits. So this S2000, I've done some stuff with this guy before. This thing is sick, static. It's pretty rowdy. It's crazy that these have gotten to the point now where people like slam and stuff. They're still worth a ton of money though, but they are sick. CTRs this year are going crazy. 
crazy. So these things just became legal like not too long ago. So it's kind of cool to see a bunch of them here. These aren't super uncommon, but it's cool to see them when you do a Mugen SI 8th Gen. It's pretty neat. The only real difference is they came with like a, I think it's like a different exhaust tip and like a different uh, thing back here. The wing, the wheels, side skirts. It's basically just like a like a lip kit and stuff like that. Um, like Rain Guards Mugen. There's just small stuff like that. It wasn't anything crazy. It was still the same power plant and stuff like that. But they are cool to see. They only made a handful of them. A really clean Suzuka S2000. Got a roll bar in it, carbon hardtop, carbon hood. Things nice. There's a Volkswagen Mark II that somebody K swapped. It's pretty cool. It's got an RBB in it, RBB manifold. Pretty rowdy. Might be all wheel drive. It's got some thick units in the back. That's neat. It looks like it has the RSX like gauge clusters in it, maybe. This is the best part about owning a beat is whenever you go to like a car meet or something, you just stand back and watch everyone sit there and talk about your car. Everybody's always like, there's no way I'd fit in it. Uh, the guy that has this uh, the Volkswagen that's right here, I just talked with him. He's like, he's 6'5", and he's like, there's no way I'd fit in it. I was like, no, dude, come over here. And he sat down in it and fit in it. <laughs> it's kind of funny. This thing's kind of sick. It's really nice. It's kind of wild. It's an EM1, but it's the four lug type R wheels, so it's a 4x114 wheels. It's really clean, though. Really clean. Got type R Recars in it. It's nice. This is the EK, but it has all of the JDM stuff. So it's got the JDM fenders, JDM front bumper, fogs, which is weird too, because you don't see a lot of people run the fogs on the 96s. Oh, because it is right-hand drive. Okay, it is a JDM car. That makes sense then. But it's an actual right-hand drive car. Fiero. Yeah, it's got all the stuff. That's, that's cool. That's cool. So here's a right-hand drive CRX. It's got like this spoon style thing. Oh, it's got a Rotex supercharger. <laughs> That's super crazy. Those are super old school. These things sound so cool. They're so rad. Got the yellow Recaro. We all know me. I like the wagons. This is a really nice SSR wheels. We got the bull bar. A bunch of option stuff, it seems like. Really clean interior auto. The option floor mats. Really cool. Got the daisies in the back. It's really clean type bar. It's a really, really clean EK sedan. Still with the JDM bumpers. JDM bumpers seem to be a thing for EKs this year. I wonder how everybody's finding those things. I wonder if they're getting cheaper in Japan or something. It's a really clean EM1 right here. Just a stock unit, but sheesh, even the headlights are like mint. This thing is really clean. 117,000 miles on it. It's really nice. If you guys know anything about Volkswagens, the Harlequin was like a thing that they did where it was like mix match body panels and stuff. It's, it's kind of crazy these, and it even has the 1552 wheels. He's got an adapter in there for them because they don't make them in 4x100. He's got the Volkswagen stuff in there, the Volkswagen Harlequin shift knob, but then if you come up here, 1.8T. <laughs> Volkswagen swaps. <laughs> this thing's really nice, like a Tuck Bay K Series. The K Series stuff looks so nice because you have nothing back here when you tuck and shave stuff. So, like a lot of the swap harnesses are like super small. So you can see that's a swap harness right there. There's like better ways to hide it, but like it's not bad. It's super clean. I feel like you guys are never gonna be able to hear me because you got the sound cars over here, but found something pretty sick. It's like a time attack. Integra. Really clean. And you still got a B series in it, non VTEC B series. It's kind of crazy. It's an actual SIR CRX. Got the TE37s. 
pretty clean. So has the B16, but it's cool. It's got the, the Cusco strut bar. It's like kind of an old school part and a Koyo Rad spoon radiator cap. Nice stuff. Old Jasma header. Looks like he's been welded a couple times, but they are 30 years old, so it's pretty cool. Got the whole CRV crew. Bet all these dudes are buddies. It's kind of cool. You all pull up in your matching cars and stuff. This is a proper done car right here for like a daily or something. New Gen SI with the, uh, the, the DR57s. I like these wheels a lot, a lot, a lot. This is all the sound stuff. These guys are kind of nuts. They uh, build these sound systems on top of these cars. It's wild. All right, just been hanging out with people. Uh, about to go hop in the beat and go do the limbo stuff because I think it said it was starting at two. There's also a crowd of people around my car right now, so I gotta figure out how to get out of here. It's always wild to pull up on. <laughs> it's very windy right now, so I don't know how well this is gonna pick it up, but uh, we just went to go do the limbo and they couldn't do it because there's too many people up there. I probably would have lost it anyway. There's a guy that has a Del Sol. Uh, pretty pretty cool build. He chop topped it and all kinds of stuff like that, so no way I'm getting that, but do we build something for him next year, guys? Do we do, we, do, we do it? <laughs> I don't know. Kind of tempted now. Just get like a junkyard Civic and just cut it up, you know what I mean? Doesn't have to look good. What do y'all think? Let me know. Clean Integra, sheesh. Four-door, got the brides, polished RBC. Dude, that is kind of nuts. That's neat. Damn, that thing's really clean. All right, y'all, just stumbled upon this and I can tell you that I'm all for it. It's like a newer fit and it's K-swapped. It's kind of nuts. That is sick though. Like you would never expect this. This is Danny's car right here and I got to meet up with him. I made him this plate. It's like a cover for something on the engine bay, but he's not over here right now, but his car is sick. GDM front, it's a K-series car. It's really cool. Got really nice Recaros in it. Nice interior. Integra Type R center console, stuff like that. Pretty cool. It's Sunday, 6 a.m. Rick Bob's here. We're gonna take the beat today. The element group kind of got split up yesterday. I think some people are going home today and stuff. So we're just going to take the beat in today. And boy, I am exhausted. I need sleep so bad. But let's get it. <laughs> All right, we've been here for a little while now. Weirdly, we just drove straight in. If you've ever been to Honda Day, you know you like have to wait. But like, you like bypassed the line and just like instantly drove in. But we got the beat cleaned up. The boy Rick here again, real MVP. Uh, we're down here parked in the car show. Let's see what we get into today. It's basically all the same cars yesterday, so I don't know how much I'll film, but there should be some new stuff coming in. This is my buddy Donnie and his girl's car right here. Both EFs, EF hatches, right? And they're both like twinning. It's the coolest thing ever. So hers all like black accents and his is all like neon accents, but they're like legit, like dang near the same car. So, but Donnie's car is sick. Got the titanium intake on it. Dope valve cover. I think it's a GSR. Got the carbon Kevlar status seats. And he, it's crazy because he never really wins anything in car shows, but um, it's because he doesn't have like interior technically, but look how well it's done. It's like super clean. Like all that stuff down there, you know, it's still gold. It's crazy, dude. Crazy, this thing's so good. Love this car. I don't know if we saw this one yesterday or not, but actual type bar on Desmond's. Bunch of Mugen stuff. It's cool. Dang. Mugen airbox, spoon radiator hoses, spoon wires. Spoon valve cover, Mugen strut bar, Jackson supercharger. Yo, this guy's got it all. Here's Corey's CRX right here. This thing's really nice. I look at this thing every year. 
He doesn't really change much, but it's so clean. It's like perfect dual overhead cam ZC with the actual ZC hood. And then it's like super clean interior. All the SI seats, it's an actual SI car. It's super cool. And he's got my hoodie on, let's go. <laughs> All right, maybe one of y'all know more than me. Let's see what you guys think. So it's really clean K-Series all motor car here, right? But look at the wing. So it looks like it's definitely for EG here, but then this looks like it's for EF because it's real like square. As you can see, normally they're like this, right? And I know that Osaka JDM makes the devil wing, but the devil wing for these is just like an extent of one of these. So what do, you, what do you guys think about that? Custom or like EF molded? What do you guys think? up here in the show it's pretty cool um, front engine rear wheel drive B series if you guys know anything about these they are reverse rotation and there's uh there's one company that makes a reverse rotation transmission for these so they're pretty rare pretty rare to see stuff like this uh, this is kind of crazy it's a Corolla the K20 K24 or something. It's kind of crazy. You'd never think this had a K24 in it. It's pretty cool. This is so good. It's EA hatch with, I assume, a B16. That's what they normally put in these. Oh, no, it's a B20. It's a B20 VTEC. That's even crazier. That's wild. Dude, what a sleeper, too. This thing would probably be violent on the street. Huge four piston sticker in the back. In New Hampshire. That's crazy, dude. Big sleeper vibes. And it's probably a built B20 B Tech, too, because it's got cam gears. It's got four piston ported uh, skunk, uh, the skunk ultra stuff. Bigger injectors. He did the ITR pulley. Yeah, this thing's probably like a 250 horsepower. All motor B. That's what that's wild. Yo, imagine. Imagine you pull up to a stoplight and this is what you see. And you're like, oh yeah, dude. Definitely gonna walk this. Just kidding. Supercharged J series. What the heck? That's wild. We're down here by the sound car, so I don't know how much it's gonna pick it up, but it's a really, really cool CRV. When they lift these things, it looks so sick. If only they had like another like lot of horsepower to help move the wheels, but oh, he's got the aerogenics lift in it. Oh, it's a so it's a that's crazy. It's a HRG Honda Rescue Garage lift, and it's got the aerogenic spacers for the uh, the ball joints. That's kind of wild. What in the absolute unit is this thing? Look at this. What is going on here? Boys had some fun making this one. <laughs> Oh, and there's like no interior in it. That's crazy. This thing's pretty proper. It's got the uh, carbon intake, titanium stuff, Jasma header. It's like really cleanly done too. No interior, but painted interior. It's always uh, a vibe. Got a feels shifter, ITR cluster. It's nice. It's got shaved side side moldings. Look like a like a Tinker Type R. It's got all kinds of Japanese goodies in here. It's nice. This thing's like really period correct, it's like 2000 show car. You got the Precision 1000 intake on it. All the sponsor stuff on the side. Very like 2000s, but it's got nice bulk wheels. Super clean. Not a shot, dude. <laughs> this is kind of cool. It's a FL5, I assume, right? But it's got all the Mugen stuff. So all Mugen, Mugen wheels, Mugen sticker on the side. Jay's Racing valve cover, Mugen valve cap, Project U. Dang, this is like proper, actually. This is pretty neat. I don't really ever see the new cars do like proper stuff. It's pretty cool. We've got the old Mugen badge right here. That's cool. All right, I'm very sunburned, but uh, 
the track is like absolutely wild dude there's so many people there it's insane uh, the concessions can't hold up the food trucks can't hold up there's like lines for the bathrooms and all kinds of stuff I had to go drop the girlfriend off in her car because she's got to go to work so now I'm headed to I went out of the track and across from the track there's a gas station I assume they sold out of everything because they're closed um, so now I'm going to another place that's down the way so I can get drinks Yo, it's crazy. As you guys can see, I got super sunburned. I had a great time at Honda Day. Shout out to all the guys at JDI, Honda Pro Jason, Eric the Car Guy, all the people I was hanging out with this weekend. I appreciate y'all. Um, yeah, it was a good one. So hope to see y'all next year. Let me know down in the comments if y'all like this kind of video. I'll see y'all later. Peace.